Energy storage is a hot topic right now. However, it's a topic very few people understand. I'm Scott, CEO of Red Tea. We are global experts in energy storage and have been in this business for 20 years. For the next five minutes, I will take you through a masterclass on the basics of energy storage. Simply put, energy storage enables us to store a specific amount of energy so that we can use it when we need it. However, this is not a new idea. Energy storage has been around for thousands of years. Ever since the Industrial Revolution, over a hundred years ago, we've been producing energy by burning fossil fuels centrally and sending this energy down power lines, essentially hoping that someone catches it at the other end. Now this is all changing. Energy has become cost effective to store locally and energy storage is at the heart of this revolution. Think about all the other essential things we produce, like drinking water, for example, which we store in reservoirs. So why should electricity be any different? It's a scarce resource, just like water, food or fuel. Most people think we store energy in batteries. This is a huge misperception. It's not all about batteries. Modern energy storage has been around for more than 100 years in the form of pumped hydro which accounts for 99% of current energy storage across the world. Batteries, by comparison, only account for about 1%. What is changing is coupling energy storage with renewable generation to create cheap local energy. This is the future. But there is no one solution for energy storage. The right technology depends on two things. Firstly, how long you need to store energy for. Secondly, how many times you use it each day. On one end of the spectrum, pumped hydro involves using excess energy to pump water up a hill into a lake and then release it to spin turbines when the energy is required. These installations are massive and are capable of storing lots of electricity for long periods of time, from hours to days. This makes a great solution for balancing our entire electricity grid. On the other hand, batteries are great for short power bursts or backup, but not if you need to use them for many hours or every day. Batteries are small and convenient, making them perfect for consumer electronics or electric vehicles but they are not ideal for heavy use. They degrade quickly, as we know from our phones, and need to be managed carefully to avoid them wearing out and safety issues. Flow machines are like pumped hydro in a box, in that they store lots and lots of energy, but they can react fast like batteries. They don't degrade, and they don't take up anywhere near as much space as pumped hydro, and can be situated at any part of the grid network. They are perfect if you need to use energy storage every day. So the question is, why energy storage now? Pumped hydro, flow machine and batteries. None of these technologies are new. They've all been around for more than 100 years. Surprisingly, renewables like solar and wind are actually the new technologies, not energy storage. Renewables are now the cheapest way to generate energy at less than half the price of nuclear or coal in the UK. Renewables are bringing us lower power prices overall. However, when the sun doesn't shine or the wind doesn't blow, power prices go up and fluctuate wildly. This is called power price volatility and is costing us more cash to consume energy when we need it. Also, to allow our aging grid network to handle renewables, New mechanisms have been introduced to allow businesses who have energy storage to earn cash by supporting the grid. For example, in the UK, you can now get paid between 10 pence and two pounds per kilowatt hour to either charge or discharge your energy storage to support the electrical network. Add these three themes together and you can see why we've now reached a tipping point globally where it is a very good investment for businesses to own their own local energy generation and energy storage infrastructure. The final misperception is how to use energy storage. 
your business needs to move as much cheap renewable energy generation as possible to times when you actually use it. This will help you drastically reduce expensive energy bills and provide you with your own infrastructure, irrespective of government energy policy. There have been over the last few years some businesses using batteries for short-term trading and arbitrage opportunities. But the problem with this approach is that the revenues from doing this are not secure. They're called merchant and are subject to policy changes. So it's basically gambling. To build your own low risk, low cost energy infrastructure, you need four to six hours of daily energy storage. This minimizes your long-term energy costs safely. So where do we go from here? Cheap renewables and energy storage creates cheaper, greener energy for us all. The macro themes I've described have now reached a tipping point and these trends will only accelerate over time. In fact, I personally believe the cost of buying wind and solar power to use in our homes and businesses will eventually fall to zero for large parts of the day. Couple these cheap renewables with flow machines, which again, don't wear out, and we will end up with an abundance of clean, low-cost energy to use whenever we need it. In summary, what does this mean for businesses right now? Cheap renewables have unlocked energy storage so that you can now build your own local energy infrastructure with proven technology to make money, cut your energy bills and reduce risk for your business. On a global scale, energy storage is playing a major role in what the World Economic Forum calls the fourth industrial revolution.